Hello again, this is just a quick video about performing a CMOS reset on an ASRock B150M HDS motherboard. I recommend only trying this as a last resort solution if you're not able to get your board working with any other method. I've been using these boards with QL2X CPUs and custom biases and they've been sitting around unused for a while. Recently I wanted to take another look at these boards and CPUs, but they wouldn't post at all, which was strange, because I'm pretty sure they did post without problems before and they were only removed from use due to the instability of these CPUs. Just when I thought I had tried everything to revive these motherboards, including rewriting the BIOS with an external programmer. I was pretty sure these boards were dead, but then I found the solution and it was just that it needed to be CMOS reset in a very specific way. This circle here under CLR MOS 1 is apparently something called CMOS reset pad. It technically works the same way as a normal CMOS reset jumper would, except there's no pins, there's just these contacts and it's a bit awkward to keep these sorted as you don't ever really know when you're making proper contact with both sides of the CMOS reset pad. Flathead screwdriver would probably be the best method. It gets even more weird though, I don't even know why this worked, but I'm just going to show and explain what I did to get this thing working again. So first I turned the PSU off and I tried the reset and power buttons. I tried the CMOS reset pad. I turn the PSU on, try power and reset, nothing happens. Insert a CMOS battery, try power and reset buttons. I turn the PSU off and try holding down the CMOS reset pad for a while, after which I finally turn the PSU on and I try the power button, which then works. And as you can see, the fan starts spinning and after a while it does pause. So I've no idea why it is fixed it, but the same thing did help with the other board too. It looks like what worked was to hold down a screwdriver on the CMOS reset pad for 30 seconds while there is a CMOS battery and the PSU is connected but not switched on. So somebody please explain to me why doing this fixed it. It seems to be working fine now anyway.